Hello everyone. In this video, I will continue on the previous setting that I have for the lighting. Again, this is a basic video for my student at Ajman University and it's for beginners only. And I will show the uh, benefit of adding camera and how we can relate that to basic rendering setting. So I'm going to go with the create. I'm going to camera and I'll just go for target camera. And as we did with the light, I do prefer that, you know, you start up by making uh, the camera uh, main object and target in the beginning in the top view. So the first the click, click and keep dragging, of course, to create the uh, object or the source of the camera or the location of the camera. And then push your hand toward the target or where you want to look at. And you will notice that, you know, nothing, of course, is going to change because you don't have... You didn't set any one of those of you to see this camera. So you can uh, just uh, come here and go to camera and pick the camera. You just created it. Uh, of course, while you are here, show safe frame. It's something really good. You can zoom in. Notice that the setting will be changed accordingly, you know, because you have the uh, camera has been created. I can go ahead and uh, use any object uh, any rotation uh, feature that you want like this one in order to you know uh, rotate the object to see what uh, you know is you expecting on to see yourself to see uh, think one of the uh, one of the good option here if you keep pressing and select this little guy that you can you know move your mouse as if you are in a game to to specify where you want to look and you can use A and D, A, S, W, D, A, and S to zoom in, go to the left, go to the right, and you know that will give you lots of uh, a lots of flexibility in uh, in dealing with what the camera is actually seeing. So if I zoom out, okay, that's maybe what I want to see, okay, like this, and you know you can go ahead. And hit rendering and then you know just render or rendering setup let's go for rendering setup and in the rendering setup we're gonna pick uh, you know make sure that you are actually gonna render this camera make sure that you have an scan line what I wanted to talk is uh, you know the setting here of course the lower the value is the less pixels pixels are the points guys that's uh, uh, you know like small rectangle that distribute in the X and in Y. So it's a, a 2D array that create this shot. So if I get uh, the lower uh, setting, like 320, of course, you're gonna get quick results, but not much of an accurate and covering up a very small area from your work. And if you go a higher setting, it will take more time, of course, it depend on the complexity of the object, the actual time will be generated which will allow you to get and to see uh, the image in a bigger size and also with more detail. The higher the result, the slower the rendering process. And, you know, there is uh, a lock icon here. This is actually allowing you to get maybe, you know, like uh, 1,500 by 600. So you, you will notice that you're going to see uh, more like a horizontal uh, image like what I'm doing right now see the safer frame is uh, is actually giving us the black bars upward uh, you can you know see that's a little bit touching this upper side so you say uh, maybe uh, 750 not 600 and that will be better then you hit render and you're gonna start to get a rendering for that new setting uh, different that's a new proportion or aspect ratio instead of what we have in the previous uh, you know in the previous pre-made setting here again uh, if you like that so the aspect ratio is 2 which is dividing width on height so you can lock it and by doing that I can go for example to render 3000 uh, in X and it will automatically calculate for me the Y or the height and of course when I'm hitting renderer it will be, you know, cost more time, cover up bigger space, allow us to print it actually, not only to see it on in uh, in the screen. Uh, okay, and now you see better things and you can tell that there is something wrong in here, you know, either not modeled or not been shown 
uh, properly, for example. Also, that black side is not being taken care of uh, anyway. But you notice that the rendering time is going slower and the quality is going, you know, higher and higher. And this is mainly what I want you to have a look at. So in the exam, usually we're going to bring, uh, like in real life scenario, uh, people will ask you to render for a high quality, 3000 by 1500 or, or maybe 2000 by whatever 1000 for A4 or for A3 or A, A2, uh, whatever the size you want, the higher you go. And also you have to decide, uh, and of course that's for a scan line. Uh, as we said in, in, the, in the university, a different rendering engine uh, will have different lighting and different camera and different material. So we are talking here about only scan line. In the exam, again, in the same, as I said, in real life, people will ask you to save that the work. You, you are not going to send Max with the file for a client as he will not get getting any benefit from it. You, they need JPG or a BMP or whatever as a pictures to print. So you have to go save here, my dear, and then uh, you decide, let's say, camera one. Okay, and in, in, in real life, you're going to use a JPG and save jpg is good for uh light uh presentation or a quick one or quick presentation uh, if we go to it uh, let's have a look if i go here and then cad you will be you know noticing it's a small size like 200 uh, something 200 kilobyte 250 and if I want uh, a, a higher more detailed image I can go for a BMP just choose here BMP like this one hit save keeping the name as it is and then I'm going to notice the difference like it's like 13 uh, megabytes so the thing is it's really really bigger allowing more detail to be printed and more detail to be carried out to the client. So these are the main thing you have to understand about the camera and about the rendering. These, these are really important settings that you have to take care of as again, you will be needing them when you work in a real life scenario and also in the exam. Thank you very much for watching me and have a good day. Bye bye.